Now, Ahmed reports that he is in the race for the contest of Congress's presidential elections. Congress MP Shashi Tharoor is currently meeting with interim president of the Congress party, Sonia Gandhi. This meeting is taking place at her residence in the national capital. That's the latest that we are getting to you. This also comes at a time when the chorus is growing within the Congress party for Rahul Gandhi to be selected more than elected as the Congress's chief. Pallavi Ghosh, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Uh, do we know the details of what exactly this meeting is for, Pallavi? The meeting has just begun and it's not just Shashi Tharu, one or two of the leaders of the Congress party are all over there. But it's very interesting, the presence of Shashi Tharu, his one-on-one -on -one meeting with Mrs. Gandhi, it comes in the backdrop of speculation that he could also be one of the people who are going to be contesting for the top post within the Congress party. The process, in a sense, begins tomorrow because that's where the electors list is going to be made public. Now, why Shashi Tharoor becomes important is because he was among the many who had insisted that if you want transparent presidential polls, you also need to know who are the voters going to be, who are the electors going to be. Electors become important because then only can you file your nomination. That demand has been met and tomorrow onwards, less list of electors are going to be put out at the Congress headquarters. So that's one demand of Shashi Tharoor, which was taken cognizance of. He has not really spoken about it, nor denied it completely, but there's a buzz with in the Congress circles that it could be more than one candidate, especially if Rahul Gandhi doesn't want to contest the elections. Names of Ashok Gelot is doing their rounds. The possibility of Ashashi Tharoor also throwing his hat into a ring is something which cannot be ruled out. Absolutely. And the timing of this is extremely interesting, isn't it? Because this comes at a time when at least three Congress state units have uh, wanted or passed a resolution to select more than elect Rahul Gandhi for the top job of the Congress's chief. But the these state legislation, and I'm sure it's going to be followed by many more, do not actually want elections. They say that since we passed the resolution, Rahul Gandhi should be the only candidate. He should be there. He's going to get an overwhelming majority. And therefore, there's demand that Rahul Gandhi should return as a Congress president. Look, we don't even know what's really in the minds of Rahul Gandhi, though he indicated much when he actually threw off this entire speculation at a press conference saying, I've made a decision and that will be known soon. Those who are close to him, Vihar, say this, that he's still not very keen on taking the top job. He would rather be in the middle of this yatra, which is going to end sometime early next year. He wants to project himself as a karikarta who's going to work for the party. But the fact that his party colleagues want him back as a president just gives an indication of the mood within the party and also is vulnerable to criticism, which certainly has been coming in from the BJP. Now, this is just sham of a poll. Absolutely. Do keep a track of what comes out of that meeting. But for the moment, Pallavi, thank you so much for getting us the very latest. With that, we're shifting focus to all that.